Hello, this is Michael Hammock with Q2 Digital. I want to take a moment for the uh, team at uh, Ohio PHA and go through the uh, use of the Google Analytics, how to access them, what they mean. And again, this is going to be very, very high level, very cursory, but I'll point you to some resources where you can learn some more about the tool and how to use it. So the Google Analytics account or accounts are set up through a Gmail address. So the first thing you do is go to uh, google.com, log in to the Gmail account. Uh, then you can go to google.com slash analytics, which is what this is up here, uh, to log in. And once you log in, you can click analytics. And you'll see that we have two accounts set up for analytics. Uh, one is the um, Wild Apricot, the other is the WordPress uh, site. So let me focus initially on the WordPress site and before I do that let me also tell you that you can go to YouTube for example and type in Google Analytics and you can see there are a number of different channels for different trainings on Google Analytics. This would be the great, uh, best source for you to get some orientation to Google Analytics, what it means and how to use it. So let me go back to the Google Analytics and we'll start with the WordPress site which is the Ohio, OhioPHA.org. We're going to select this link here which is where the data is. Uh, and again, you'll see that uh, all of the links are on the left. At the very top right here, you can select the date or date range. It defaults to 30 days. Uh, normally, I like to look at a 90-day window. So I can set the start date, set the end date. Uh, I can also do a comparison to a previous period, to a previous year, or another custom uh, date range. So I apply and then it updates the data uh, and we look primarily at quali quantitative and qualitative characteristics uh, of the data if you would. So under the audience overview you can see that you've had 3530 sessions from 2006 users, a total of 11,462 page views or 3.25 pages per session. So this is a qualitative characteristic that we look at. Generally the higher pages per session and the higher the time they spend, average time on the site, and the lower the bounce rate, those are generally good indications of qualitative uses of the site. Uh, 3.25 pages is a good number. 3 minutes and 11 seconds is really pretty high number. 28.47% bounce rate is pretty low, which is what you want. And bounce rate is determined by or defined by if someone comes to the website, they just hit the first page or the home page, and they bounce off <clears throat> and don't go any deeper into the site. That is considered a, a bounce rate. And uh, again, the higher the bounce rate, the uh, less value, in theory, customers are getting. And all of these are uh, relative numbers, so you're really looking for trends in instead of just absolute numbers. Uh, the other data we look at, if you come down under user experience, uh, you can look at the geography by location, and it gives you a map of the world. And if you go down, you can see that U.S. is the leading source. Russia is a second, not set, which means they don't really know where they came from. India, etc. So it's not uncommon to see this kind of a distribution. Uh, Russia is always the second or third uh, source of links. So there's always activity to try to gain access to your site. So let's look at uh, United States and then it'll break it down by the states and you can see that Ohio, Pennsylvania, Michigan, uh, your top three, Georgia's number four, that's probably us, and Florida's number five and that may be us as well. And it breaks down the data in three categories, the acquisition, which is uh, you got kind of 
the people that got to the site, the number of sessions, uh, the percentage of the session, and the number of users. So 76%, 76.22% of all users came from Ohio. And of those, the bounce rate, average bounce rate was 25.6%, 3.4 pages, and they spent an average of 3 minutes and 5 seconds. Uh, conversions don't really apply here because we don't have any goals set up. Uh, but if we did, we could track those here. And you can kind of see how the how it varies from state to state. Uh, Pennsylvania has a lower bounce rate. Uh, Michigan, a uh, higher bounce rate. And again, I would suggest that you take all these numbers with a grain of salt initially because during this development period, there was a fair amount of anomalies that were going on by uh, probably people in Ohio accessing the site while in a development mode as well as us here in uh, Georgia and Florida. Uh, one of the other criteria we look at is the mobile. If you select mobile and overview then you'll get an, a good indication of desktop uh, traffic. 80% of your traffic is from desktop devices. 16% of your traffic is from mobile devices and 3.46% are from uh, tablet devices and generally we lump these two together as uh, 19 or 20 percent of your traffic is uh, mobile and 80 percent is uh, desktop. Uh, and again over time you can see how that trends uh, just by changing your date comparison range up at the top. One of the other uh, important pieces of data is the acquisition which is where is the traffic coming from. So if we click the overview tab we can see that it's broken down whoop, Sorry, we'll go to all traffic. I think this is a bit more meaningful in looking at the channels. And you can see that the primary channels we target are organic search, direct, referral, social, and email. So 48%, the biggest share is organic, 36% uh, is direct, 11% is from referral sources, and 5% from social media. And you can drill down into each of these to get more detailed information. So if we look at organic search, uh, you can see that um, there's a large number of links that aren't identified. identified. And this is because you know, Google keeps some of the uh, information secure, if you would. But 3% of the traffic came from the Ohio Public Health Association. 7% uh, roughly came from the Ohio Public Health Association. I don't know why these are different, but there must be different links uh, that take you there. OPHA, Ohio PHA, and then we always have some what we call refer spam, and this is people who have uh, placed links on the site to send it to different places. And it's just the nature of this business. This could be cleaned up, but uh, would take extra effort on the server to clean that up. Uh, referrals is a, another uh, big one. It's an important source. So you can see where the traffic is coming from. Facebook, OhioPHA.org, uh, OhioPHAQ2Digital.org. This is the development domain that we initially had. Uh, and then you've got refer or spam in here as well. Uh, that being this one, sanitation, uh, the next web, add-ons. Uh, again, my suggestion is not to look at this in absolute detail, but look at it in terms of general trends. Uh, another important piece here is going to be the um, well, that's it for here. You can drill down into uh, many of these other ones. I don't know what we've got going on in terms of social media, but let's take a look at it. Uh, haven't been set up as of yet. It doesn't look like. Oh, yet yeah, here's here's Facebook, here's Reddit, here's Twitter. So this kind of outlines the traffic from a social media uh, standpoint.
if you come down to behavior, uh, the next area I generally look at is site content in all pages, and this gives you the traffic by page. So, for example, this slash is the uh, home page, and you can click on the little plus over here, and it gives you a pop-up window of that page and what that page looks like. Uh, and it breaks down the traffic, uh, unique page views, how much time is spent on the site. So we get into the qualitative uh, issues or characteristics here. Uh, there is no page value assigned to this, but you know you could set up goals and track goals and assign values to them. I'm not sure that would be applicable to you here, but that uh, data is available. So find a job is the uh, second most trafficked page, the public health calendar, post a job, the document library, and again you can track these trends over time to see what kind of activity you're getting uh, on what pages through the process. Uh, the last area down here I would point you to is conversions and again you don't really have any goals set up. Uh, you can set up goals for tracking purposes and determine how many people reach a page or complete a goal. Uh, E-commerce is another thing you can track but doesn't really apply for you here. So th this is how the um, WordPress site looks and works. Let me go back now to the um, So this should be the Wild Apricot site, which it is. And let me come back to the audience here. And you can see a similar process. Number of sessions, number of users, page views. Uh, looks like it's pretty evenly split between 40% are new visitors and 53% are return visitors. And I would expect over time that the returning visitor percentage would increase. Um, again, a lot of this is from the initial development and launch of the uh, site. So if I go to the geography or geo and location, and I'm going to select the US, and it should mirror what we've seen on the other one. Yes, Ohio, Georgia, Florida, Pennsylvania, and again, you can see you've got the qualitative and then the, the quantitative and then the qualitative measures uh, that you can track in terms of bounce rate, pages per session, average time on the site, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, if I go to mobile overview, And you can see that roughly 90% of the traffic is coming from desktop and the other 10% is coming from uh, mobile. Uh, if I go to all traffic channels, we should have a high percentage of referral traffic here, which we do. And this probably the majority of this is coming from uh, the WordPress site. Because that's how, yeah, most of it is being act, uh, uh, accessed is through the OhioPHA.org. So this will let you know how things are, uh, traffic is being distributed to the site. And again, I'll underscore to you that uh, hacking is always going on uh, in this space. And one of the things that we do with the hosting is we minimize that. It cannot be prevented, but we can work hard to minimize that from a, uh, a hosting perspective. And then once you get uh, social media set up, then you can define those here. My guess is there's probably not a lot from social media. Uh, most of these, I imagine, really are coming from the um, WordPress website. And conversions, we don't have conversions uh, here set up for tracking. If we look at the pages, 
you can see the distribution of traffic this being the home page 20 percent roughly the join us events share to and again this is what we refer to as refer or spam and people who've logged in to update their profile so this will give you some indication of how the uh, uh, site is being used and I hope that's uh, helpful for you in terms of understanding and accessing analytics.